I have no clue. Here we're going to find dy dx and d2y dx2 for this parametric equation. So let's talk about how to get this and that first. For dy dx, when we are given parametric equation, we can just think about it as divide the top by dt and divide the bottom by d dt. So we get dy dt and then over dx dt. And we're done. And for this, it means that we just look at the y equation and differentiate that with respect to t. Likewise, for this, we look at the x equation and differentiate that with respect to t. At the end, just take that derivative and divide it by that derivative, and then we are done. Now for this right here, it's trickier. For this, you do not just look at the y equation and differentiate it twice with respect to t, and then divide it by d2x dt2. It's not like that. And you can also see that the notation doesn't even match. If you get rid of the dt square on the bottom, this is d2y d2x. The notation don't match either. Be really careful. This notation, in my opinion, is the most well-designed notation in math. So how do we get this correctly though? Here is the deal. Right here, let's review this one more time. dy dx means we take the derivative with respect to x of y. That's how we get that. And then if we have parametric equations right here, then you see y is here. Earlier I put it here. Right now, as a result, we will get what? On the top, we get d dt, and then here is where the y belongs, yeah? And then after that, we divide it by dx dt. That is the same as that. Now, for d2y dx2, I can look at that as d dx and then d dx, and then we have the y, yeah? And as you can see, d and d, d squared, that's why we have the 2 right here for the d. dx dx, that's why we have dx squared. And nobody writes parentheses dx squared. Don't do that. This is perfectly okay. Now what though? Well, differentiating the y twice, well, it's the same as saying what? If you have the inside right here already, you can just look at the second derivative as taking the derivative of the first derivative. Yeah? Now, this is where the magic is. Earlier, when I do d dx of y, I put the y right here. Right now, we are doing d dx of this thing. All we have to do is put that right here. So, as a formula, we get d dt of whatever this is, right? Whatever this is, just put it here, put it here. So here will be this thing, which is dy dx. Over, on the bottom, we have dx dt, just like that. So now let's come back here. d2y dx2, when we are given parametric equations, we will be doing this. This means we take the derivative with respect to t of the result that we got earlier. So that's dy dx. And then over, so that means we just have to divide it by dx dt again, just like that. So now let's go ahead and put this in action. First, we look at the x equation and differentiate that with respect to t. We will get dx dt, and that will just give us e to the t. Now do the same thing for the y equation. We need the product rule here though. dy dt will be, let me keep the first function, which is t, and I'll multiply by the derivative of the second. The derivative e to the negative t is e to the negative t, and don't forget the chain rule. Multiply by the derivative of negative t, which is negative one. And then we add the second function, e to the negative t, times the derivative of the first, which is just one, just like that. Now, all we have to do for this is put down dy dt on the top, which is all that. I'm going to write it as negative t, e to the negative t, and then plus e to the negative t. After that, I will divide this by dx dt, which is this right here. That's e to the t. 
And now let me simplify this right here by factoring out e to the negative t from these two terms. So we will get e to the negative t times negative t plus 1 over this e to the t. And now you have two choices. One, you can bring this down, right? And then you will have to use the quotient rule when you do this. Or the other choice is you can bring this up and then combine this and that together. And later on, when you do that, you can use the product rule. I, of course, will prefer the product rule. So check this out. This and that together, because they have the same base, we can just take this exponent and then minus the exponent, right? So negative t minus t is negative 2t. These two together is e to the negative 2t. And then we have the rest. And let me just write it as 1 minus t. All right, so this is the final result. Now, for taking the derivative of that, this part means we look at this result and then take the derivative. So this, let me just write it down for you right here. So we will have d dt, and this is what we got earlier, e to the negative 2t times 1 minus t. All right, to take the derivative, we need the product rule. I'm going to keep the first function here, which is e to the negative 2t, and then we multiply by the derivative second, and that will give us negative 1. And then we add the second function, which is 1 minus t, and then we multiply by the derivative of the first. The derivative of e to the negative 2t will be e to the negative 2t times the derivative of negative 2t because of the chain rule. So we multiply by negative 2. Now let's just clean this up before we put it up here. This right here is just negative e to the negative 2t. And then I will take this and that, distribute it backwards. So negative times 1, so it's negative. And then we have 2, and this thing, e to the negative 2t. And then take this, distribute with that, negative, negative, so that's positive, 2t, and then e to the negative 2t. Now notice, this and that can be combined. So that's negative 3, and then e to the negative 2t. And then this right here is plus 2t, e to the negative 2t just like that. All right, now let's go ahead and come here. For the top, I'm just going to write that down. We have negative 3 e to the negative 2t plus 2t e to the negative 2t. And then over, over what? Dx dt, you just divide it by this e to the t one more time. All right. And we can simplify this a little bit. Let's bring the e to the negative 2t out. So we will get e to the negative 2t here. And then we will have negative 3 plus 2t and then over e to the t. And earlier, I brought this up, right? So finally, I will also do the same. This and that negative 2t minus t, right, subtract the exponent, we get e to the negative 3t times negative 3 plus 2t. So this right here is for d2y dx2, and this right here is for dy dx. Of course, if your instructor wants you to bring this down to the bottom, then you can just write it as 1 minus t over e to the positive 2t, and this right here, you can just write it as negative 3 plus 2t over e to the 3t. So depends, but they are, of course, both correct.